Hey everyone, Ish with Height here, and today we're going to be taking a deeper look into the cooling widget within our Height Nexus software. So the first thing you're going to want to do is click on the cooling widget to expand it. And over here, you can see we have three different sections within this widget. On the left side, you have your inputs. In the middle, you have your curves. And then on the right side, you have your outputs. So what exactly do each of these mean? Well, for inputs, it allows you to read into any sensor that Nexus can read such as your CPU core clocks, your temperatures, power and wattage. Same thing with your GPU, your GPU loads, temperatures, clock speeds, power, as well as various motherboard sensors. And finally, we also can tap into the Height Thick Q60, which is our best in class CPU liquid cooler. And here you can see we have the different temperatures for water coming in, water going out, as well as the various different temperature sensors on our thick FP12 fans. So you could take any one of these sensors and take that data and map it into a curve. Let's take a look at the balanced curve preset, for example. So you could see zero degrees is mapped to roughly 24% in terms of fan speed, and then it ramps up. So as whatever sensor you're pulling from the input goes higher, so does the relative percentage for speed that it's sending to your output. And in this case, our output is the height thick Q60. If I click on this to expand it, you can see we have a bunch of thick FP12 fans attached to the cooler. And then of course we have our dual harmonic pumps one and two. And so here, what's essentially happening is Nexus is taking the temperature coming into the cooler, using that to map a respective speed to the pumps and fans. And then it's going directly to the fans that are mapped to it or the pumps. And in real time, adjusting the RPM to whatever's going on on your system. Now you might say, ish, this is fantastic stuff. It's extremely powerful, very intuitive, and gives me complete control to get the exact cooling performance and noise profile that I want for every scenario. But, I have a problem. Nexus is too good. It's too fast and too quick at recognizing changes in temperatures and loads and making my fans respond to that curve. Is there anything I could do about that? The answer to that is yes. Unlike our competitors, we actually have the ability to adjust the response time and set a delay where the software will actually see for an extended period of time is this an actual spike in temperature and load that is going to be sustained throughout an extended period of time? Or is it something relatively quick and bursty that I can ignore? And so by adjusting this, you can say, okay, wait five seconds to validate that my CPU is still at that high temperature and still at that high load before you ramp my fans up. And so this eliminates any of that constant annoying ramping up and down of fans that you might experience with some of our competitors. Again, just an additional feature we built into Nexus to make sure that you have the best cooling experience possible with your system. All right, now that we've gone over the basics of the cooling widget, such as inputs, curves, outputs, as well as the different things we could do using the preset curves, I think it's time for us to create our own curves from scratch. How do we do that? Well, you navigate to the bottom of the curve section. Here you'll see three blue buttons. The first one is a graph, which allows you to select between three presets, or you could click on the graph button itself to create a brand new custom curve. You have a linear curve where you are able to set point A and point B on the temperature scale. And depending on what you select, it's gonna fill in everything in the middle linearly based on that curve. And then lastly, we have a flat curve otherwise known as a static percentage or a static RPM. And this will allow you to keep the same speed and performance across the entire range that the sensor has. Let's first take a look at the graph. So the first thing I'm gonna do is click on this graph number four to expand it. The first thing you're gonna see here is an error message saying, oh, there's no sensor input connected, which makes sense. We haven't mapped one yet, but in the off chance that you prematurely map this to an output, it's just letting you know that the graph isn't actually gonna do anything for you. Let's take care of that first. I'm gonna to go to my CPU, the temperatures panel, and then drag over my CPU temperature as an input for this graph. And so now when I click in on this graph, you can see the temperatures at the very bottom and I get complete control from zero to 100 degrees Celsius 
mapping that from 0% all the way to 100% fan speed or pump speed, depending on what I select it to map to. Here, we have complete control of the entire curve, and we can click at any point in this blue line here to add a new point and start adjusting the curve at any given moment. Now, if you're not a fan of clicking and dragging the circles, you could also click to create one, select it, and then adjust the temperature, the fan speed, and the response times based off of these plus and minus buttons we've got up here. Lastly, you also have the ability to do the preset mapping. So you could click on silent, you could click on balance, click on performance, and start from there if you want to drag your custom curve out based off of one of the presets that we ship with the Q60. Now, the final step is mapping this graph to an output. So clicking and dragging from here, if I select the height thick Q60, it's gonna map this to both the fans and the pumps. If I drag this to the thick FP12, only my fans are gonna to correspond to this graph. And then if I drag this to the pumps, only the pumps are gonna to correspond to this graph. In this case, I'm gonna drag it up all the way up to thick Q60 and have both my fan speeds and my pump speeds change depending on the temperature. As you can see in real time, the numbers are updating for my connected fans according to this graph that we just created. Now let's say you don't need one of the graphs you've set previously up anymore. That's why we have this little trash can icon at the very bottom. Once you're hovering over it, it's gonna turn red, click on it to simply delete the graph and forget it ever existed. Just keep in mind, it's also gonna disconnect any outputs and inputs that were associated with that graph. So you're gonna wanna reconnect it to something to make sure your fans are spinning and mapping according to something else in your sensor panel. Now, let's take a look at the linear curve. Here, it's fairly simple compared to before. You have a temperature range that it applies to, and then a speed range that it applies to that temperature, as well as the response time adjustment that we've talked about before. So let's say I want my temperature to go all the way down to 25 for ambient, and then I'll let it go all the way up to 95 for my CPU's TJ Maxx. And again, I'm gonna map the CPU temperature to this linear graph. Finally, I'm gonna adjust the speed. So let's say I want 25% to be the lowest and then 100% to be the highest. And then a response time of, let's say, seven seconds. Here, I'm gonna take this and remap it to the Q60. And as you can see in real time, again, it's just gonna set a curve automatically based off the start and end points for the temperature and the speed and adjust my fans and pumps accordingly. Very simple, super straightforward compared to the graph before. Lastly, let's take a look at the flat curve. This is my favorite as it allows me complete control to have the same acoustic level and cooling performance at all times. So here you just have a static speed range that you can drag from. So you go from 0% to 100%. As you might've noticed, this does not require any sensors because the actual signal it's sending is the same at all times. So 50%, let's say I'm gonna set that to all of my fans, and then we're gonna do another curve that's flat for 100%, and that's gonna be for my pumps. And so as you can see, my pumps will slowly ramp up and go all the way up to 100%, which is around 4,500 RPM, and then my fans are gonna be around 50%, which is around 1,500 RPM. And so this is very simple, very intuitive, easy way to set your curves for the thick Q60 or any other fans and pumps that you have connected within our Height Nexus ecosystem. Again, thank you so much for stopping by and congratulations, you are now a pro on how to use the cooling widget within our Height Nexus software.